evaluate the following triple integral. And looking at this triple integral here, we observe that we have constant bounds. Right, so we can rewrite this big old triple integral as the product of three individual integrals. So let's rewrite this to get started. Again, we can only do this because we have constant bounds. So I'm going to start from the outer integral here, which is z. So looking within, we see the function related to z is sine of z. So we can rewrite this integral as the integral from 0 to pi of sine of z dz, and this is going to be multiplied by the middle integral, which is x, and so we can see the function related to that is sine of pi x. So this is multiplied by the integral from 0 to 1 of sine of pi x dx. Don't forget your differentials. And then last but not least, we have the middle integral which is y, and the function related to that is cosine of y. And so giving us a little more room, this is multiplied by the integral from 0 to pi by 2, cosine of y, dy. And so now we can just evaluate each individual integral. So let's go for it, starting with z. I have the integral from 0 to pi of sine of z dz. And so this integrates to minus cosine of z from 0 to pi. So that's minus cosine of pi is negative 1. Minus cosine of 0 is 1. So I have negative multiplied by negative 2 to leave us with positive 2. Next, we have the x integral. So the integral from 0 to 1 of sine of pi x dx. And this will integrate to minus cosine of pi x by pi. And we're ready now to evaluate from 0 to 1. And I'll keep that minus 1 by pi out in front. So then we have cosine. Well, you don't have to write this out if you can see it, but we have cosine of pi minus cosine of 0. We know cosine of pi goes to negative 1. This will be minus cosine of 0 is 1. So this will leave us with minus 1 over pi multiplied by negative 2, which is just 2 by pi. And then, last but not least, we have the y integral, which is 0 to pi by 2 of cosine of y dy. So this integrates to sine of y, which we're ready to evaluate now from 0 to pi over 2. And sine of pi by 2 is just 1, minus sine of 0 is 0. So that leaves us with 1. So we have our three individual pieces here. We have the z integral, which is 2. We have the x integral, which is 2 by pi. And then last but not least, we have the y integral, which is 1. And so this is leaving us with a beautiful final answer. So actually, might as well just write it up here. We have 2 times 2 by pi times 1 for a beautiful final answer of pi by 4. And we can just leave our answer like this. We're not looking for volume here. We're simply evaluating.